No. No, I'm an I'm an ass. <laughs> no, what I am is a very proud StarCraft two field reporter. And this just in, getting into map number one of Lyrlac Crest. Going right to the scene. It should be more like this just in, Lyrlac Crest, overrun by Zerg. No, hold on. It seems that they're fighting each other. One's red and one is blue. That's right, I'm hearing it correctly. Two different Zergs. <laughs> you actually did that really well. Like, I, I, I'm almost wondering, <laughs> did you rehearse that? Jeez, I'm like actually <laughs> impressed. That was good. 10 out of 10. <laughs> you, need to, you need to make your robot picture like a reporter one so we can match it and then really just be like on site. How am I going to make that close of a close up? Like, oh, no, you know what reporter. you can do with yours, actually? Um, get like a, a picture of a camera front facing so it looks like you're the cameraman or the camera woman because you're breaking gender stereotypes. It's 2016. <laughs> you can be what you want. <laughs> 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 okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new best of three for the WCS Shanghai Qualifiers. In the bottom left, it's going to be the Red Zerg player, Liquid Snoots. In the top right, as the Blue Zerg, he is Nurchio. And definitely worth noting, neither player going for really early pool or really early gas. No. Snoot is doing what he seems to just love in DBZ, though. Like, um, it seems like almost every single game that we've cast, he's gone for this one base gas pool, but not, like, really early, right? Like, 17, 17 or something like that. Um, he just, I guess, prefers it. Maybe he does better with the early all-ins. Gives you that faster speed. <clears throat> even though it's only by a little bit, because Nurture oh. got a little greedy himself. You know who I just noticed is missing from these brackets? Marine Lord... Oh, okay. Yes, um, <laughs> I was I was actually pointing along the direction of Vortex. Oh, because okay. he's coming back, and we recently got to cast him for that previous IEM qualifier, I think it was, and he looked fantastic, actually. Hmm. Yeah, he looked very good. I don't know. Well, we got a brand new subscriber coming into the start of this slower ZVZ. Thank you, DC Monster Eight Two One. I can't believe we're still getting so many new subs. Like, yeah, like this, this is still a lot for our cast. Like, not compared to yesterday, but yeah. Well, I mean, yes. Okay, Thanks. so contrast <laughs> here for those who don't know. Like, on average, two, maybe three subs on like a good day. Yesterday we got like 162 in an hour. I was like, what yeah. the fuck? <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys for subscribing. Hopefully you're enjoying the content, and that's what's causing you to subscribe. But uh, of course, there's a lot of other cool benefits that you can learn about just by asking some of the other subs on the channel. Uh, Bailiness on Inertia, though, doesn't feel too defensive. He did, He's not making a ton of drums right now. Oh, there we go. Just curious what his next larva spend is going to be. Because if he is going to start cutting workers, we're kind of hitting that time. You know, back in HOTS, it was like six minutes. Now it's more like three. And uh, with plenty of saturation on two bases, doesn't look like he's going too crazy to do damage. Another new subscriber. Lieutenant Disco. <laughs> bump, bump, bump. It's like we, like this is where you like salute, but then you start da, doing like a little da, bit of like da, a head bob. Da, da. Like, That's a disco. <laughs> so you did that step too. Yeah. Not dubstep, I guess elect electronic. <laughs> Electro. <laughs> I think Madonna, to be honest. A lot of the what time. do you think? When disco? Think yeah. Why? I don't know. Every little thing that you say or do. I'm hot She's up. more new wave. I guess Madonna that's actually true because I guess disco is more of like you got that snare and like uh, uh, <laughs> like uh, undercover uh, brother type music going uh, on uh, in the background. Uh, I used to um, really love disco music, and I would like dance with my dad when I was like five years old. So I know all the moves. <laughs> nice. Here's the real question: Why haven't you shown us any of these moves? Same reason my dad doesn't dance in the parties either. <laughs> Fair point. You're both terrible. Got it. All right. So there's a, there's a lot of Banelings being made out of Nurtio. And it, this is not really a super concentrated attack. This is some nice aggression he's putting on. But he did and is droning behind this. So uh, th this is not destined to do much. So he's got a couple of really nicely placed Banelings. Looking to hit the Lings instead of the other Banelings. Not a bad choice. But now his drone line is under a lot of stress. So look at those splits, oh. though. That was all in like that was like AI computer cheater timing. Holy that suit. That was so good. That was, that was impressive. That was ten out of ten. That so was a, that was good. That was a good hold too, because Nurcio definitely could have gotten kills. Oh yeah, uh, two drones. That's it. <clears throat> That's all that went down. So, continue on in the game. Now they both have a third base, but Nurcio is getting the much quicker layer here. 
with no Roach Warren yet, so maybe Muta. No, it is Roach Warren. Damn. <laughs> no. I really gotta wait until that lair finishes. Zombie Grub, it's not. It's not gonna be Mutalisks. Do you know why? Zombie Grub. There's a Roach Warren down Zombie Grub. You may not have noticed this. But only I just want to bring this to your attention. But only as I said it did it come down. But there's a Roach Warren in play. But. Confused. It's okay. I know. I know you don't know a lot about casting, and this is your first time in the field. I feel like you're talking about Snoop, and I was talking about Nurtio. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the fact that I keep zooming in on the the blue Roach Warren and the sarcasm set point is gonna register. Like, you're zooming up on the red Roach Warren. You're not on my camera. Yeah, that's why I was really confused. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know, by the way, Zombiegrub <laughs> does no, like, very little to no observing. Most of the time, she just rides out on my camera. So that's why I thought, like, you would have mentioned clue into what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but you're just on the other, totally, who are, mean, were you, like, on a like, meal or what? I'm confused. You know, that he threw it down when I was talking about it, right? And then, and, and, and then I was like, oh, damn. So what are you, what are you doing? Okay, terrible. <laughs> Uh, so Spire does come down either way, though. By the way, oh, so fuck like, you. <laughs> despite despite all of this, God damn it. but what I like about this is I, I'm actually curious to see if this will be Muta's first or Muta's second, because a lot of the times, like you'll see players, do they go for like those eight Muta's initially and don't invest into it, and they either do well or they don't. But I like the almost like tech swap, he catch you off guard Muta's that come sometimes afterwards. Uh, it does. It's also worth noting like very different units on the ground right now to both um you know snoo's going for a lot of links he's got a hell of a lot of ravagers nurture on the other hand's focused a lot more on roaches and more roaches yep <clears throat> snoo's uh snoo's lair is pretty late so not gonna have that roach speed for a while not gonna be able to maneuver around the map but if nurture's gonna go for mutas then <clears throat> that was already almost a given um he's pushing forward off of his creep the mutas are not going to be able to poke at it though. That's gonna be a lot of free damage. Yeah. Um, Nurture's actually... not investing entirely in the mutas, so he's going into the hydro stand now. But this is this is what I like. Like you get a couple of oh, he tries to predict the shots. It's not gonna happen. Uh, you get a couple of mutas early on, and whether it's sniping off just like three or four ravagers, that can make a huge difference. Because Snoot was relying pretty heavily on these ravagers to give him advantage coming into the fight. Gonna try and focus down the banelings most likely with some focus fire, as we see actually happening. The lings can then flood in afterwards potentially. Ooh. Mm, he tries to go for the oh. larva, but didn't have enough pros for bile shots to take care of it. Only five links go to the uh, attack the surface. There's the rest he, of the links going over there. He's actually going to take a really good fight. Despite hitting those, getting hit by those bane links, uh, you know, he runs over here, causes the drones to recall. He did kill the queen. Snoot is not devastating Nurchio by any well, stretch of the imagination, but he's getting good damage in. Yeah, these links are really adding a lot of that damage, too. Like, getting on top of the drone lines, they, get out, they got us around on a couple of these brooches. They just killed a couple of queens. So, that wasn't game-ending, but that was so close to being very, very messy. Nurture, though, actually comes out ahead. The drones, for the most part, did not die, and he was at a fairly good count to begin with. And I guess, Stu, you know, he didn't have that many drones going to because he had cut a little bit earlier than I guess he maybe wanted to, but... More Ravagers being invested into, kind of doubling down on this, whereas it's a Lurker Dan from Nurchio. And he kept a lot of the Mutas alive, too. Yep. What's, yeah. what's, what's wrong with you? What the fuck? Why are you having, like, a giggle fit? This isn't a giggle fit. This is so close to face palming. It's like a, it's like a stifle fit. Okay, well... <coughs> <laughs> whatever whatever you got going on aside, I was going to say, uh, Lurkers, for a long time, made this matchup look like a huge joke, in all sincerity. But um, in this <clears throat> instance, I don't know how... As how... in they were good? <laughs> yeah, sorry, as in, like, they diced okay. other people. Like, I, I who, Damaga was the first... I hate, because I feel bad, we always reference Damaga, right? But the, he was the first time we really saw the power of Lurkers in the beta. And still proves to be pretty strong. Lurkers, very good against Roaches and Ravagers. However, they can be targeted without detection, which is kind of nice. But Nurchio doesn't exactly have many, if any, yet. Still going to be fighting this Ravager, Roach, Hydra, Mutalisk, Abomination combination. <laughs> but this time, there's there's Queen. So Snoot's got more reliable anti-air. It's a slow, ridiculous-looking yeah. push. But the danger here is Queen's off. Creep can't dodge Curse of Piles. <laughs> 
Yeah. So, <clears throat> Snoot's plus two. She'll finish up here. I Maybe as he takes the engagement, he's taking a while to break down the rocks. The queens, of course, still want to join in the party, and they're trailing behind a little bit. Six more lurkers on the way for Nurchio. That's going to be a nice count. Um, that, I mean, they're almost done, too. So, they got to get in here. They got to spread out a little bit, too, if their corrosive bottles have to hit them. Here they are. They're done. Three of them are grouped up. Ooh, Snoot doesn't have detection. No, he he gets melted. Those roaches just go down so quickly. And Nurchio, these lurkers are going to win this fight at the end of the day. It doesn't matter how yeah. this goes. Snoot cannot beat these lurkers. Yeah. We've seen a couple of games that look like this, but the Hydralis Den and the Lurker Den are actually a lot later. Um, and they do die because they don't have those defensive lurker lines. So it was just nicely timed by Nurchio. Fortunate for Snoot. Okay, well, uh, I was probably leaning towards Nurture in the series anyways. Not that I'm trying to take a side after he's won a game, but that was a good first <laughs> game out of him. I know that uh, the bets are a little bit skewed in favor of Nurture over Snoot. Uh, I was looking at them, I already forgot the numbers, but it was like, yeah, it was like 60-40%, I think was the split. I don't know, i have to go mm -hmm. back and look at the bot again. Um, but the second map we got is going to be Ruins. Right? I think? Yes, ruins. Okay. Let's get that map intro loaded. And good to go. By the way, so we're all good for payment stuff for Austin, right? All right, we're back and hopping into game number two here for the WCS Shanghai Qualifiers. We're still in the winner's bracket. This is a semifinals match. The winner of this goes on to fight against Teffel versus Elazer. And that will lead towards that grand finals for the winners. Bottom side, still got a lot of good players. And this is going to be a long time, a long night for some of these guys. So I hope they're getting naps in while they can. But uh, spawning here on the top left side of Ruins. We've got the red Team Liquid player, Snoot. Five-minute mini naps. In the top right, as the blue Zerg, he is Nerchio. I think if you're, if you're deep in, like, Hearthstone or TLO or... Are any oh. of these guys like? Oh, hmm? you're gonna have like you know a half hour break. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I would actually legit say take a nap or something. Because <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a long, long time now. That's where the question of casting comes in. So I wanna I wanna bring up this topic once again. There are two players getting through, one through the winners and one through the losers, and it's very important that we cover as much of this as we can. And we will, like Rifkin and Zombie are coming at you, right? Um, as many of the games as possible. There is a North American qualifier happening tonight as well in, I think, like two hours, something like that for now. This yes. tournament will not be done two hours from now. So we're going to have to make a decision at some point how much of the European one we want to ride out versus let Fear Dragon get started on the North American one. Hmm. Because uh, a big part of a big part of what we're trying to do with Fear Dragon here, guys, I want to just talk about this while this game starts up. Like he is the third caster on base straight TV. He is, in my opinion, same level as me and Zombie Grub. But I know that's not the opinion of everyone tuning in because he's still new. So we want to make sure he's casting as much as he can. And unfortunately, he's limited to weekends. So uh, I really don't want to cut off too much of his cast from today, if possible. So we'll see. We'll see how things start timing out before. Like we're getting ahead of ourselves here, but I'm just making sure everyone knows yeah. there is a North American qualifier happening today. Fear Dragon scheduled to cast that, and there's going to be this awkward bit of overlap no matter what happens. Yeah, just to cover that. So it is ruins, and it is these horizontal spawns. They're both going for the exact same build. <laughs> same speed, same bailing timing, or just about. And let's we'll see if there's going to be any Ling aggression. Uh, last game, unfortunately, the end in Snoot's loss. But let's not forget that Snoot's awesome drone split. May as well have won the game with that. Now, it's, if only that's how StarCraft worked. The coolest, the coolest maneuver wins. The I game. know. <laughs> that's the thing I was saying. Like, we should have a tournament or a show match sometime where, like, okay, the winning of the game is only worth like two points but winning crowd favor is worth another two points and like i have you know, stuff always like that. thought about trying to do a tournament that way but there's no way anyone would can, would do it and like, a popularity would ruin it you'd have to do it through exactly. barcodes or something like not let people know who's playing yeah exactly or get like the most like it had to be like <laughs> you know people uh, like, uh, begging for barcode tournaments forever we could like combine the two God, ideas it it's either a barcode or you would have to have like a panel of judges so at the end of the the game they hold up their scorecards like, oh yeah you, you could get like three players who aren't competing or something yeah something like that it's like 9.5 out of 10. yeah 
Yeah, sometimes sometimes it does feel sad because like the cooler moves like Snoot in that first game, they don't they don't win you the game sadly at the end of the day. But if you put enough cool moves together and string them string them in a line, that will probably win you a game. Now there's some more links coming across the map. Nurture is definitely not going to get a cancel uh, with with these. Gets a scout. That's about all he that's about all he gets though. Yeah. Oh, they're both not really bothering with that much of a Ling, you know, Baneling <laughs> attack here. Uh, just Nurture, you're going to maybe like one drone if you focused, not even. And then they got third bases, they got a Roach Warren. Um, Nurture's getting a few more Lings, same as Snoot. Getting a couple of Banelings too. Nah, but then it comes the drone. There comes the drones. For S Nurture, though, this is, uh, this is. Snoot's gonna be in some trouble. Like, uh, his his roach count's gonna be a bit awkward because you know they're slow and moving across the map. But that first Banley hit's huge, getting six lings like that. A couple Banleys made for Snoot, but of course he wants to use them on his opponent's Banleys, not necessarily on his opponent's lings. So trade that two for two. Yeah, this isn't. Uh, that was not too uh, much of a big of a, a big deal. But the third base, if that goes down to just a handful of lings. Yeah. Well, that would be a big deal. I mean, it's already down below half health, so it's already not great. Uh, he's not going to be able to micro around it, but that is something that you would definitely have to snipe in the later stages. I, I, you really got to wonder like how much that's worth keeping alive at this slow of, low of health. But I guess you want to get that larva production going ASAP. Nurture is still dedicating to a lot more lings. Snoot, on the other hand, he's got a... He's got a decent amount of Ravagers and Ravagers. Uh, the Ravagers being more important because without speed off of creep, Ravagers are way better than Roaches. Mm. The army supplies are really dead even here, but Snoot is going to try and push through, uh, getting a lot more lings for that quick reinforcements. Uh, I'm going to take this on Aga, I guess, first. And they are just building their army right now, even though they're not really on a deal drone count to, to you know just be like, okay, I can fall back from this. Like Only at the 40, uh, or not even for Nurtio, <clears throat> just looking to defend as of course it's overlord saw the army moving across the map by the way just uh because i see some responses of things like this in chat uh i just want to let people know by being really mean to somebody else and then saying something nice about myself or zombie grab it doesn't make us like you i guess i want to make that very clear saying something like right fear dragon's annoying but we love zombie grab and rifkin like I know your intentions there are good, but that actually is a really shitty thing to do. And I would appreciate yes. people didn't do that. If you actually have criticisms for Fear Dragon, he was openly asking for them and tweet at him. Let him know. Have him improve because he's, like me, not going anywhere. <laughs> and me. Don't, don't forget about me. Oh, sorry. Well, the, the nice comment was for you. And then, so it's oh, assumed. okay. Well, I guess that that's yeah, that's a good point. Uh, a big engagement going down here. Lings are definitely a big part of Suit's army, but there are a lot of banelings, you know, making it yeah. that you know they can't get this around yeah. on Nurture's roaches. And that's really important because the oh, the whole point of Suit investing in all these lings is to take advantage of the ravages to soak the hits from the roaches, so that his own roaches and ravagers can get a couple more hits in. Uh, the Banelings are just going to push that front line. A lot of Snooze Ravagers are getting really low, so starting to cut off of creep's not too bad. Again, off of creep, bigger deal than on creep uh, when it comes to Ravagers. At least until people's speed kicks in, and that's still quite a quite a ways well, off. Yeah, they're not getting up to a lair anytime soon. Uh, they are still both on hatchery tech. Is they, I mean, Ooh, they, is... <laughs> they both scouted the army, I suppose, and they both realized they had to have an army before they can even think about Mac anymore. This is what I really like about Snoot and Nurtio. I mean, it's it's sad to say that these two I don't think are evenly matched right now. Um, but they both know when to drone. And I feel we watch so many ZVZs where there's either an overcommittal or awkward droning. But they both mm -hmm. kind of saw exactly how that fight assessed. They made a couple more things on the side and then went back to droning. Snoot now continuing with the all-in. We'll see if Nurtio matches that or not. Because he will need better production later uh, mm -hmm. on the way. But going to be quite oh. some time before it's actually going to kick in with benefits. Well, yeah, <laughs> health benefits and medical, you know, all that. Well, speed, uh, <laughs> but yeah, the, sure, why not? So the student's not still getting a lair, though. So either he's going to scout this and realize he fell behind and be like, oh, well, shoot. Or he's just going to attack and Nurtio might be in some trouble. But Nurtio's still holding strong. Um, I, I definitely he's, he's not like... It's not like he's getting plus one as well and, you know, a, a bunch of other tech, too. It's entirely upgrade -less. It's a very bare-bones game so far. No, I definitely feel like Snoot's heading towards that giant all-in. I mean, okay, maybe he falls behind the layer tech, sure, but just with the aggression he's been trying to show, 
failing, mind you, but trying to show and having yeah. Lynx constantly roaming and scouting around. I That's so I feel too, but I'm just worried because it's not really getting him that much more in army yeah. supply, you know? Like, it's not like, oh, he's an all in, he's 40 army supply up, like, how is he going to hold this? This is an Urchia still mm. only down by 10. He might have a bit of a trap he can spring on Urchia, though. If these links stay alive here to the south and run away and hide, these ones to the north, that either runs in behind Urchia's army and kills the other base, or he collapses and catches Urchia in a three pronged attack, which looks like he was trying to set up, but goes in. These links are like, where's our backup? Uh, <laughs> wow, they almost died uh, to those. Yes. Those banelings, that was pretty close. <clears throat> these these links aren't very important. It's a lot of fodder to just lose to a single uh, baneling hit, and that's something that Snoot cannot do because he needs everything to make this all in work. It's way past the point of trying to get your own layer now, too. Like, he would have to do damage first for sure, and then maybe try and macro out of that as Snurchio is up in uh, those drones and now is going to have the upgrades. And if, if Nurchio waits any long or if Snoot waits any longer, Nurchio will have those upgrades. So he's going to have speed, definitely, at this point. Plus one is still a ways away, but I don't know if Snoot's, uh, how, huh. uh, hmm. Small, small When's he gonna pull that trigger, I guess? Yeah. Ah, uh, that speed is kind of a big deal. Comes down to the army supply right now. There's a lot more roaches for Nurchio coming into this, too. So Snoot is gonna have to work his ass off with these Ravagers, but are 11 Ravagers over 5 gonna beat an extra 20 roaches? Uh. I don't, I don't know about that. Good um, dancing from both parties so far. No one really eating too bad of hits. Uh, drones oh, do get pulled on the right side. Oh. It does get quite a few worker kills because he's going to cancel a lot of eggs that are being made. There's nice. a lot of awkward roaches here out of Nurtu. And Snoot, for a moment, looks like he's doing quite well. But can he hold this lead? Nine Ravagers over three. But it's 13 roaches versus five. And as he gets on top of the Ravagers, they don't have a lot of health. And they start going down pretty quickly. Focus fire down. Yeah. Snoot loses that army momentum he had. And this really was everything for him. He's got a reinforcement line coming of lots of lings, but I don't know if that's going to cut it. Because right now, if he has to fall off the back end of this, he did not kill enough drones to cripple Nurtio's economy. Nurtio's on layer tech over him. He's got speed. He's going to have... Uh, he's got plus one. He's already got plus yep. one. So, I don't know. Snoot, maybe just a base trade with lings is my guess. I don't think he can <laughs> actually stop this army. Uh, catching reinforcements might happen, but that was a point where Snoot like, almost was winning. He was up 20 army supply, but it was in those Ravagers that died so quickly. Uh, you know, as, as the engagement unfolded. So it looks like he's going to be able to hold on to this push, but the long game obviously is not going to work out better for Snoot, oh, nice who, round. once again, still not on Lair, no fourth base. Uh, now up in drones a little bit. That's nice, but... Oh, uh, maybe Nurture made a mistake here. I don't know. Like, with a fourth base and an upgrade, this should be, like, a macro game for Nurture, but... Nurture just threw away an army that maybe he thought he would have a bigger bank to uh, reinforce, but maybe didn't realize that he lost about 10 or 12 workers. So that army supply is back down to half that of Snoot, and Snoot has another opportunity to win this game. Huh. I did not expect that to be... Uh, I, hmm. I thought Nurture was fine throwing away those units, but yeah. his economy actually was not that great. The fourth base, I guess, was all a lie. <laughs> and this is still very dangerous for him, even with the plus one upgrade. Snoot's got a lot of Ravagers going for him, though, and Nurture really doesn't. The auto attack alone is going to be hugely advantageous, much less the actual curse of Bile, which we all know is so very dangerous. Uh, eating one or two of these can be kind of nasty. But that's going to oh. be game. Snoot will actually tie it up and take us to game number three. Wow. That's impressive. I thought that was going to be Nurture's match. Like, Snoot's attack failed. The counterattack looked good out of Nurture, but looks can be deceiving. And, uh... Okay, game number three. I don't think we'll get to play the full two minutes of ads here, but we're going to go to a break, and if these players start soon, we'll stop the ads and cut it off early. So we'll see you guys soon. Off early. So we'll see you guys soon. Off early. Uh-oh. Either he's AFK or bulking up minerals. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're going to have some cheese to finish off this series. Game number three. Ace match, if you got it. Spawning in the top left of Orena, throws down that 12 pool. It's none other than Nurcio. Oh, shit. In the bottom left, as the blue Zerg, he is a liquid snoot. Now, the question here is, you know, we, we've seen a lot of players do, like, you know, 14-14s. Bly is so happy about that build. Is the 12 pool going to be enough? Because keep in mind, as you guys can see, this doesn't come with gas from Nurcio. This just goes straight to Ling's getting across the map and trying to get early game control. 
Not to say it won't ever involve gas, you can transition a lot of different ways off of this. But the first six to ten lanes that come across the map are really meant to knock down a hatchery and pick off whatever they can. Hmm. Well, um, the overlords of Snurchio, or Snoot, sorry, darn it. They flipped Snurchio. colors. It's like they flipped Archon. colors, didn't they? They did. Snurchio would be a terrible name. Uh, is going to see the lack of gas on the one side, but I don't think it's going to be cool enough to go onto the other side and see that too. So yeah, it's going to back off. But it will re realize what's happening as it sees the links come across uh, the map. Nurchio uh, does take the natural base. And Snoot does go for the Baneling Nest right off the bat. And uh, as opposed to trying to actually wait and stall out for his own speed, that just wouldn't go very well. He's, he's got to keep this alive for a little bit. The uh, hatchery will eventually get cancelled, but buying every extra second possible to get that Baneling Nest finished and get more defenses out. A little bit scary though, it's a lot of lanes with a lot of surface area. Yeah. Uh, Snoot's Overlord does see the how many reinforcements there are, first of all. So he sees a couple more lanes coming out of the base, but he also sees the hatchery actually being thrown down at the time that it did. So um, maybe he realizes that it's not the most dire scenario. You know, no spine crawlers coming up in his main and whatnot. Uh, just the lings and the queen and one or two bane lings, and he'll be able to secure his natural again. Now, you know, later than near Chio, but still with a bit of a drone lead. Yeah, the faster bane ness is going to be nice for that. If there's a bane sit at the top of the ramp, too, he's just yeah. seen all too many times. Somebody walk into it. Now, the Queen's very exposed. I don't know why Snoot just did this. He was trying to bait out a fight that he Banelings. can't take. Banelings do finish up. and looks like, oh, he will save the Queen. Nice. Oh, my God. That was just barely not mistimed. That was, <laughs> right? Like, that's the question of luck versus timing <laughs> versus skill. Uh, thank you, Le Monstre, for the uh, three-month reset. Reset. So what's interesting is that Snoot does, of course, have this gas, right? Like, he was the one actually mining gas in the first place. Snurchio is still not mining any at all. Yeah. Uh, he's actually going to go for speed and a roach horn. So we'll see if he uses this just to actually attack and try to end the game. But I was going to say interesting because Snurchio going entirely gasless is something that we haven't really... We don't really say a lot in Legacy of the Void. That those are like a part of the swarm thing for quite a while, and then people went back to getting speed for the most part. But we have been seeing, especially on Arena... Uh, two or three times, people actually getting to those roaches first and being able to hold on with uh, you know, a pseudo wall, I guess you could call it, because it's kind of hard to get a full wall on Arena. It's a pretty large ramp, but um, it is possible to skip the Ling Bane Ling stage. It's just, it's obviously dangerous, it doesn't give you a lot of map control. And uh, the fact that Nurchio is still not getting a roach worn or gas, like this is his first gas going down, is actually a lot more worrying than whether he has speed or not. There's the roach worn. But Snoot's bulking up roaches. He's gonna get link speed to you know quickly re uh, reinforce, and it seems really bad for Nurchio. It's how do I phrase it? It should be bad for Nurchio, but in the same way like Snoot should have lost that last game. You know, like I feel like oh uh, should have won. Oh wait. Snoot, yeah, you're right, sorry. <laughs> These colors yeah. are really messing with you, girl. Yeah, Jesus. apparently they are. I was going to say, though, like, never count someone out too early, like, I guess, because that last game, a good example, this game, maybe another. Uh, Snoot is falling behind further and further in drones, but, you know, at the end of the day, if Nurchio had, he doesn't, but if he had, oh. like, five spine cars on top of this ramp, Snoot would never break it. So, I don't know if that evolution chamber was because he didn't want the Lings to scout or because he did think it was going to be an attack and then maybe he changed his mind. Not sure, but he does uh, no longer have a full wall. And he has not seen these units quite yet, so he keeps on sending links in to try and get a scout. This will be his first indication of how many roaches there are in the field. I think he might have guessed they might have been on the way, but now he knows. But his roach horn is done. He has a spine crawler. He has a couple extra queens, too. A defense can be made, and it looks better than it did a minute ago. If there's an Only down overlord. by 10 armies fly. Actually, I really wish there was an overlord for this, because if Snoot had that high ground vision coming into it, he would have led with the Crystal Biles instead of followed up with them. Now, the transfuses go off on one, but unfortunately miss the other. And transfuses are uh, going to be very important to the defense, but he doesn't get any of his good units transfused. The queens are starting to go down. There's about a roach left, and Snoot is starting to gain a little bit of momentum. Spine goes down. A couple of queens, a couple of roaches. Snoot's continuing to flood with links behind this. They're the fastest thing to get across it's the map. so and close. <laughs> this is this is dangerously close. Let's not forget, Snoot has to actually kill an admiral amount of workers to make this worthwhile, and at this rate, it might not actually happen. Uh, yeah, the lings are coming out from Snoot are getting surrounds on Nurchio's roaches, which is really important. Yeah. Nurchio has been trying oh, to catch that one from getting the mineral line. Long time. 
Pulls the drones now. He's starting to really understand just how scary this is. Of course, drones versus Ravagers have been proven to be pretty damn good. Uh, but Snoot's lings are starting to snowball funny enough in this situation. So he does kill enough workers to make this worthwhile. And if he has to back off of this, he at least has the economy to justify doing so. Um, he's going to try and focus on a couple more shots with lings. Uh, Ravager gets transfused. Or sorry, Roach gets transfused with the Ravager. Just sitting in the back, shooting away, shooting away. Lings are not <laughs> enough. Eventually it's going to break. No, like the queen oh, dies. Right. Yeah. Yeah, the Couple corrosive roaches. bio is just just enough, and now the oh roach gets around it. I mean, it's, it's going to happen. Has, it's going to happen. He's, he's ah, so XD, 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 So, man. You know, D rhymes with G, which is probably why he wrote that instead of good game. Just a bit of a mistake, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, congratulations to Snoop. Uh, so he's going to get a 2-1 and move on to the grand finals. Where he will fight against either Tuffle or Elazer, and I'm gonna check. I'm pretty sure they're in game still. No, they're not. So I don't actually know who won that game or if they've even played it out yet. Uh, no, Elazer oh, did two zero. Yeah. Just advance. Oh, this is bad. Then this is bad, Snoot fans, because Snoot and Elazer don't have a great record for Snoot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But okay. Well, he's. He's been playing really well today. I I think he's got his confidence back. He's got his form back. So, so here's See? here's here's the game plan, guys. I'm actually getting a little bit dizzy because I haven't had anything to eat and I'm quite hungry. So, we're gonna go to a break. Um, I'm gonna make my food. Then we come back from the break, and the game's probably gonna start. I'm gonna eat my food. So Zombie might solo cast one game, but we still have a whole losers bracket to go through. Like we said, there's quite a, quite a few games still ahead of us, but uh, we'll be gone for a few minutes while we get some things sorted. So do stick around. As we got more of the Shanghai qualifiers coming up. And it's the grand finals, which means one of these two players will qualify through. All that and more when we return. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys soon. Also, I guess I'll just edit this to say uh, finals.